Now, I'm sure all you wine connoisseurs know that France and Italy are the largest wine producers in the world, but hot on their heels are century-old Spanish varieties. And here in Gippsland, they're definitely keeping that tradition alive. And you know, as they say in the classics, when in Spain, do as the Spanish do. Nestled into the evergreen hills just north of Warrigal, about an hour's drive from Melbourne, is Brandy Creek Wines, where they've hooked onto the idea that to be successful, you need to create your own niche. Now, Rick, with a surname like Stockdale, I'm guessing you're not Spanish. Oh, you're right on the money there. No, <laughs> definitely not Spanish. Then okay. th how did the Spanish vines infiltrate Gippsland? Well, because when we set the vineyard up, we wanted to do something different. So we did a lot of investigation, and the microclimate here was just perfect for Tempranillo. Fantastic. And Tempranillo is a wine variety I haven't heard of very much. What would we uh, compare it to in Australia? Well, I guess in Australia, it, in, in our vineyard, it's more like a Merlot. OK. With all the flavours and characteristics of a Merlot, this Spanish drop is like a burst of Barcelona on your lips. But why stop there when in one location you can totally tantalise your gourmet taste buds at the Gippsland Cheese Tasting Centre? Showcasing the best from local artisan cheesemakers, the Brandy Creek Cheese Board tally is endless. But what's the difference between cow cheese and goat cheese? Uh, goat cheese just has a subtle goaty taste to it. A goatee taste. Is that the technical term? A goatee taste? That is, uh, well, a technical term, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Excellent. Well, with Spanish wine and all this cheese, I feel like I've been around the world. Yeah. Might need a bit of a nap. Now, the siesta will have to wait because with a country renowned for its delectable dishes, the folks here know how to turn on a fiery fiesta. And the Spanish certainly don't do anything by halves. Here you can bring along your friends and family and enjoy a traditional Spanish buffet, which includes not one, not two, not three, but four giant pale dishes. Oh, Jose, this one, my table, now. Jose Castro is one very happy Argentinian, a chef who loves sharing his obsession for Spanish food. Now, Jose, this is definitely uh, theatre cooking at its finest, isn't it? I mean, you, you must have a lot of people that come and love watching you uh, get stuck into this. Yeah, it's, it's a movie and a show. Yeah, you know? yeah. And you're always booked out here. I mean, you serve up to, what, about 100 people? 100 and change, yeah. Fantastic. And these pailers, I mean, we've got a whole selection here. We've got the vegetarian on this side. Yep. We've got, like, your meat lovers here, I That's imagine, it. with your chicken, pork and chorizo. Yep. We've got a, uh, a different sort of, was that, casa what? Casuela. Casuela. And then down the end, we've got the seafood pailer. Yeah, it's always I mean, a it's hit. You've got all varieties that you can't ever want. And if you're sitting at home right now thinking how good this all looks, then you should be here soaking up these remarkable aromas. And a very important Spanish lesson to remember is to slow down and enjoy every mouthful. Isn't that right? Absolutely. Exactly right. Salud! 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 Salud.